North Korea sent its elite military to Russia, cooperation enters a more dangerous stage. The People's Army of North Korea has sent an elite military training delegation to Russia, the Korean Central News Agency said. The first announcement of a military exchange involving Pyongyang since the two countries concluded a comprehensive strategic partnership in June. The delegation, headed by Kim Gwen Choi, president of Kim Il-sung Military University, flew from Pyongyang. The North Korean state-run news agency said the purpose of the visit has yet to be announced. In June, Russia and North Korea concluded a partnership that includes a mutual defense agreement in times of emergency. The two countries are also likely to increase exchanges of military personnel. The United Nations has imposed sanctions on countries that provide military support to North Korea. Pyongyang made the announcement without reference to the UN sanctions, South Korea's Yonhap news agency reported. Pyongyang has long been supplying Moscow with weapons for use against Ukraine. The delegation of North Korean military trainers is led by the president of the Kim Il-sung Military University, Kim gyum chol North Korean state media said without providing any further information about the visit. South Korea's president, Yoon suk yeol said that growing military cooperation between Russia and North Korea poses a distinct threat and a grave challenge to the peace and security on the Korean peninsula and in Europe. News emerged at the end of May that France could soon send its military trainers to Ukraine after Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sirsky said that he had already signed documents that will allow the first French instructors to visit training centers soon. French President Emmanuel Macron said on June the 7th that France wants to finalize a coalition of countries to send military instructors to Ukraine, though US President Joe Biden is reportedly against Macron's proposal. Ukraine launched large-scale drone attacks across Russia's Belgorod, Rostov, Volgograd and Voronezh targeting Russia's energy infrastructure on the night leading to Tuesday. An oil depot and substations in Russia are on fire and four people have been killed as a result of the attacks. According to the head of the border Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, as a result of the shelling of several villages in the region, four people were killed and 20 others were injured. Some 160 apartments, 60 houses and 140 cars were damaged. There are interruptions in the power lines. The Energomash plant was also attacked in Belgorod. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed downing 38 drones overnight in the south and central parts of the country. A substation in Frolovo and an oil depot in Kalashandan are on fire in the Volgograd region. Local telegram channels have published footage of the fire. Several dozen drones were launched on the Rostov region. According to the head of the region, Vasily Golyabev, two transformers caught fire in the Rodionov-Nesvitaysky district. The fire has been extinguished. Local residents reported hearing about 10 explosions during the night. Previously, drones hit a local oil depot and bakery, causing strong fire at the oil depot. Fire also broke out at a substation in the Rostov region, but it has already been extinguished. There have been no reports yet about the outcome of the drone attack on Voronezh region. In the Volgograd region, drones attacked an electrical substation and an oil depot, causing fire at the facilities. The regional governor said that two UAVs were shot down and that the fire was caused by falling debris. In Volgograd and Astrakhan, due to a drone attack, Airports were closed for landing and departure. The drone struck a substation in the Rodionovonesvitaysky district of the Rostov region, causing fire. Ukraine has not yet commented on these attacks yet. Летит еще один дрон. 
Nada.